Attention Five Points residents. This is a community notification of a new sexually violent predator in your area. Please stay tuned to the following short program for more information. Hi, I'm Technician Ron Hackett with the Denver Police Department. The Sex Offender Registration and Compliance Unit at DPD is responsible for the registration, monitoring, and tracking of all registered sex offenders and sexually violent predators who live in the city and county of Denver. Here's a brief history of sex offender legislation in Colorado. Our state laws trickle down from federal government mandates. In 1994, we had the Jacob Wetterling Act, which mandated that states would establish a sex offender list. Megan's Law of 1996 said that the public would have access to those sex offender registration lists. The Pam Lichner Act of 1996 stated that some offenders might have to have lifetime registrations. And the Adam Walsh Act of 2006 unified sex offender laws across the country. In Colorado, the legislature has determined that sexually violent predators, by definition, pose a higher risk to the community at large and therefore mandated that upon their release from the Department of Corrections, the community must be notified. Sex offender notification in Colorado happens in two ways. The first is passive and ongoing through the sex offender registration process, which is a list maintained by local police departments. The second way is active via community notification for those offenders determined to be sexually violent predators by the courts or by the parole board. Most sex offenders in Colorado are supervised by the criminal justice system in our communities. Most sex offenders engage in crossover behavior, which means they may have been arrested for one type of crime, but be apt to commit another. Many sex offenders have no criminal history at all prior to their arrest. There is no typical sex offender, but all tend to be deceptive, manipulative, and secretive. 80 to 93% of sex offenses are committed by someone known to the victim. Sexual deviancy begins in mid to late adolescence. Sex offenses are not impulsive. They are usually carefully planned, and most sex offenders are male. The community has a vested interest in helping offenders to be successfully managed in the community. Sex offenders have the same need for housing and employment as any other citizen. Any citizen who uses sex offender information to harass, threaten, or intimidate an offender will be subject to criminal prosecution. There are approximately 16,500 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. About 65% of convicted sex offenders are placed in the community on probation. The remainder are in the Department of Corrections or Community Corrections. Offenders may be caught for one type of offense, but be at a high risk to commit another type. Crime of conviction is only one indicator of risk. A sexually violent predator must register with the Denver Police Department Sex Offender Registration Unit every three months for the rest of their life. The offender's residence must be verified quarterly by the Denver Police Department. The full sex offender registration list is available by calling the Denver Police Department Identification Bureau at 720-913-6756. Convicted felons and those with multiple convictions are posted online at denvergov.org slash police. Remember, Sexually violent predators do not represent all dangerous sex offenders. The community notification process and sex offender registration are not a complete deterrent to sexual assault. Now, here's a look at the newest sexually violent predator living in Denver. Here's an overview of the registered sex offenders currently living in Denver. There's 2,356 total living within city limits. In Denver Police District 6, there are 415. Precinct 611 has 158 registered sex offenders. Of those, 98 have felony convictions and 60 have misdemeanor convictions. Daniel Glenn Watson is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. He's 45 years old and was born on May 16, 1971. He's a white male, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 193 pounds, with brown hair and hazel eyes. He's currently a transient living in the area of the 1100 block of Park Avenue West in the Five Points neighborhood of Denver. Schools located within one mile of this offender include Polaris at Ebert Elementary at 410 Park Avenue West, University Prep Elementary at 2409 Arapaho Street. Parks located within one mile of this offender include Lawson Park at 2301 Welton Street. Recreation centers located within one mile of this offender include 20th Street Rec Center at 1011 20th Street. Bus routes located within one mile of this offender include Route 20, 20th Avenue, Route 48, East 48th Avenue, 
Route 15, East Colfax Avenue. A brief history of charges against this offender. Sexual assault on a child and attempted sexual assault on a child. He's not on probation or parole and registered with the Denver Police Department on June 10, 2016 as a transient in the area of the 1100 block of Park Avenue West in the Five Points neighborhood of Denver. Past charges against this offender include sexual assault on a child, assault menacing, domestic violence, burglary, harassment, driving under the influence of drugs. Daniel Glenn Watson has been determined a sexually violent predator after meeting the following criteria. Criteria 1, age 18 or older on the date of the offense or under 18 and tried as an adult. The offender was age 21 at the time of the first offense and age 30 at the time of the second offense. Criteria 2, the crime must have been committed on or after July 1, 1997 and convicted on or after July 1, 1999. Crimes include sexual assault, felony unlawful sexual contact, sexual assault on a child, sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. The offender was convicted on August 15, 1995 for sexual assault on a child and August 7, 2001 for attempted sexual assault on a child. Criteria 3. The relationship to the victim was one of the following. Victim was a stranger to the offender or the offender established or promoted a relationship with the victim primarily for the purpose of sexual victimization. The victims were a 7-year-old and 15-year-old female. The offender was known to both victims. Criteria 4. Positive results are the passing of a risk assessment instrument administered by probation parole staff and a qualified treatment evaluator. Positive results include an assessment for the presence of a mental abnormality, a level of denial regarding the offense, treatment appropriateness and motivation, presence of sexual deviant interests. The offender was evaluated by the Colorado State Board of Parole with positive results, determining him to be a sexually violent predator.